record it. Everybody, yo, what's up? Good morning. It is 10:20 in the morning, and it is it is Monday, September 12th, and today I have a day off work because it is still Chuseok break. So Chuseok break is kind of like a Korean version of Thanksgiving. This year Chuseok was on September 10th, Saturday, but um, as an English teacher, I got Friday off and this Monday, so kind of a four-day weekend. Today's the last day, which is so sad, but it's okay. We're gonna have a good time. Um, what I'm actually going to do today is just take you with me, kind of on a little like date excursion thing. I don't know. Do you want to come on a date with me? I hope so, because that's what this video is. <laughs> We're gonna start off by going to a palace. I haven't been to a palace since my dad was here, and all the palaces are actually open today for Chuseok, and it's free entry whether you wear a hanbok or not. Usually if you wear a hanbok, you get into all the palaces free, but today I'm pretty sure because of the Chuseok holiday, um, all the palaces are open for free so we're gonna see if that that's true and we're gonna go um so yeah we're just gonna get going and then i am not entirely sure what i'm gonna do from there but the palaces are in a really good area in seoul so i'm like might as well maybe i'll palace hop maybe i'll go to a cafe maybe i'll i don't know go do some shopping we're gonna see what the day ends up being i did not plan it so that's gonna be exciting i hope you guys enjoy it come in with me and so oh uh, yeah yeah also guys this is like my new favorite shirt it's like Life, I love it so freaking much. Anyways, that's besides the point. Um, we're gonna go have an adventure today, and I'm gonna take you with me. It's gonna be a good time. So yeah, let's go ahead and get going. So we made it to the palace. I'm just like gonna walk around. There's so many people. Okay, it's not like too many, but there's a lot. So I'm like scared to film alone. I'm not used to. I'm not used to doing this, or I don't know. I'm usually with like people when I film nowadays, so it's weird to like go somewhere Honda and film. Like, I don't know. So I'm just gonna walk down this path. I have no plans for like what I'm getting up to, but it should be fun. Let's go uh, explore. We're literally like, just walking around the palace right now. We'll get into the details later, but yeah. Just kidding, you guys. I just went to the bathroom to find out that my period started. Okay. Um, so now we gotta go to a convenience store because I have no pads with me. I was an idiot and didn't bring pads. What a great start to the day. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, like this area of Seoul is haunted. No, not haunted, sorry, cursed. It's freaking cursed. Every time I go here, like when I come here, I went here a few times with my dad. Something always went wrong. Oh my gosh, where am I going? Like something always went wrong each time I've come here. And I guess this is the other thing. Now I have to walk because we can't find freaking Donut Domes anywhere. Ugh. Ugh. That's my life. Okay guys, we good. When I first walked into the community store, I was like, oh my gosh, there's an older man working. Great, lovely, this is awesome. But he was so nice when he saw that I was rushing to buy pads. He was so nice. So, we good. We're back at the palace, so we're just gonna explore it. So I'm 
this organization in Korea that like basically we create content about different topics in Korea basically to put out there. Um, it's like this organization thing and so I'm trying to make a reel right now for it. And it is so hard to film and make a reel at the same time because like I'm not used to making like Instagram reels. Like I'm just not used to it and so I'm like I gotta film with my camera. That's the most comfortable filming with you. And then like filming with my phone I'm like I don't know what to film. And then I have to like go places twice because I have to like film twice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> it's like really weird. I feel like this weird person with like so much, like my camera, my phone, trying to film everything. It's probably so annoying, honestly, but gots to do my job. I stood up at the dark side of the blue, looking out for a half side. I actually think I like this palace more because like there's more trees and stuff like I like it more than Gyeongbokgung I think this is Changgyeonggung yes sorry about my terrible bottom uh, pronunciation <laughs> but yeah it's like it's like super pretty like I don't know I've never been here before and I actually like it more than Gyeongbokgung at least today I do it's, it's nice in fall in fall it must be gorgeous like when the tr leaves all change color I might come back just to take photos here or something because it's so pretty I'm having actually a good time walking around. I didn't think I was going to, but I'm actually really enjoying myself. Oh, a tree forest in the middle of a lake. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Look at this like moss-covered, amazing, beautiful place. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's so great. Oh my gosh, what is this? Is this some greenhouse fabric? What? 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 so cool, I love this palace. What the heck? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> like a comfort place it's so cute you guys I <laughs> spent too much time here or like I did not keep track of time so I'm meeting a friend at one and it's like 10 minutes to one and <laughs> we're getting at a cafe I'm like shoot ah. we got to run guys <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? We are on a mission now. Oh my gosh, there's people. I'm scared. We are on a mission now with Taylor. Yeah, we're on a mission to go find me a journal. So we're going to Kyobo in Dongdaemun. Is it? No, no, Gwangmomen. She's the navigator. I am the adventurer. 
combine together to go find the journal. This one. I'm such a baby. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know what West is, you guys. Well, I didn't know. I don't have a compass. The navigator has the compass. I'm just, I'm just the adventurer, <laughs> you know? No. traveling through the woods as you can see it's a very dangerous environment all these trees all this open space what are we gonna do I don't know what's wrong with me It finally hit um, in Kyobo. Kyobo was so busy. Like there were so many people in there and it's just when that happens it's just like overwhelming. <laughs> but um, yeah it was good. It was good. It was just like a lot and I realized something. So today's the last day of like Chuseok break and last year I got out of quarantine the last day of Chuseok break and so I went to Kyobo the last day of Chuseok break last year and suddenly I'm there again like not a year later because Chuseok isn't on the same day every year but like the same time of year, which I think is crazy. That it just happened by chance. There's, I got these really heavy books. They're so heavy, you guys. They're so freaking heavy. Um, they're the Jimin and Hangogo, like basically fun, fun Korean study books. I, I, I stalked Natalia, um, her Instagram, and she used them. So, and they're like Koryo Day books, like the Korean University books. So, might as well get them to study. I'm so tired. <laughs> I just got in contact. Okay, so I got in contact with Natalia. And we're both walking to Heihua from different areas. Because um, she had plans earlier, I had plans earlier. So now we're just like meeting up at Heihua. And now I'm walking. I've been walking for like 30 minutes already. But I'm definitely getting my steps in. I have walked like 15,000 steps already and it's 5 p.m. So I'm doing good. But like these freaking books are so heavy. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go meet up with Natalia and I think we're meeting at a cafe and then getting food. I think, I don't know the plan, she knows the plan, so I'm just going with it. Oh my gosh, guys, leaves are falling. It's crazy, look at this. Look at that. What? <laughs> Anyways, that's what's going on. That is what is going on. We're just walking down this path. Yeah. <laughs> so let's continue. Let's go, let's go. You in the backyard of your old farm in the summer. who's not going to show their faces yeah but um as you can tell my bag broke because the textbooks are way too heavy so heavy but we are at a restaurant and we're going to eat dinner it's going to be a good time yeah sitting in the room working out life attractive skip to the present and i still have a new business you know? 
Yo, what's up? Hi. Long time no talk. I know. <laughs> How are you? I'm eating mint chocolate. Ew. What? When I brush my teeth, but that's it. What? Or like when I have bad breath, but like I don't put this into my food. Ew. What? <laughs> Danny, we can't be friends anymore. We can't be friends anymore. It's done. Hey guys, yo what's up? It's actually after 1am right now, so I am just going to bed. I wake up in like six and a half hours, so that is going to be a fun time. It's so hard to go back to work after a weekend, a long weekend, and I had four days consecutively of no work, so it's going to be very interesting waking up tomorrow, but I just want to end this vlog right here tonight before I go to bed. Honestly, oh my gosh, like, I don't know. Like today was definitely not perfect. It did not, not start out perfect at all. Nothing like that, but I don't know. I'm just like, I was thinking today as I was like coming home on the bus after hanging out with everyone, I was just like thinking about how much Korea actually feels like home to me now. Like I have friends that I hang out with a lot and like good, really good friends. And that's been hard for me to maintain since I graduated from university because I've been traveling so much. Like. I was constantly moving to different places, but now that I've been in Korea here, like I feel like I have like really good friends that I can hang out with like often and form good relationships with, which is really cool. And I feel like so comfortable like going around on my own and doing all this stuff and filming content. And like, I feel like I know the areas around Seoul pretty well too. And now perfectly, definitely not as much as a lot of my friends, but like, I don't know, it's very easy for me to know where to go or what I want to do or like cafes to find. Like I feel so well adjusted to being here in a lot more ways than I did last year at this time, like so much more. And it just feels really nice to feel like Seoul is home to me. And I actually like feel it. I don't know, it's just, it's been a really cool realization to me to realize how much i actually really do like being here even after a year i thought after a year that i would be like yeah okay ready to move on um and actually last month i was kind of feeling trapped here to be honest um but i don't know what's changed i don't really know maybe it's the fact that i hit my year mark or something but yeah this place does feel like home to me and feels really good because i haven't really had a place to call home for a while like my last real what felt like my last real home to me was hawaii when i was going to school there so yeah the fact that that now like this huge city that i live in feels comfortable and like home to me is like, really nice so yeah i don't know i'm just really happy and yeah i did get um some books to help me study my korean i will show them to you real quick so out of out of out of like the three sky universities, Koryode Korea University is my favorite. I don't know why, don't ask, it just is. And they use these books to study Korean at the language school. Not that I'm going to language school or anything, but they're the Jamie and then Hangugo books. And I got level two. So level two and the student book and the work book. So yeah, I'm gonna be studying from this from now on. I studied a bit tonight actually with Natalia. That was hilarious. It was it was a good time. I think I am level two. I I hope that I am. If I'm not, I 
it's probably I'm just missing a few things. So I'm excited to start studying Korean again. I have the motivation because I've been meeting more Koreans recently and I've been wanting to, um, I don't know, like strengthen my friendship with them. And so learning Korean is a good way for me to communicate better with them. So yeah. Anyways, life just seems really cool right now. I mean, it's definitely has its ups and downs. I really woke up this morning not feeling good at all. And when I got my period at the palace, I was just like so done. <laughs> but um, things got so much better as the day went on, honestly. So yeah, I'm just really thankful for, I don't know, I just feel really thankful for this life that I'm living right now. It just seems so priceless, like these moments, I don't know. So I'm really happy that I can catch them on camera because they're always so fun to look back on. Anyways, I do need to sleep. It is so late and I'm going to be so upset when I wake up in the morning. I can tell, but I, I don't know. I think it was worth it staying up this late. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of end the video with that thought of mine. I'm getting ready for bed now and sleep and hopefully have a good day at work tomorrow. It's a shorter day, so I should be okay. Should be okay. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a really fun one for me to film. I enjoyed it a lot, so hopefully you guys did as well. Be sure to thumbs it up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And... Turn on the notification button so you never miss out on a new video. Thank you guys so much for your support. I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye!